Hello everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to be teaching you the magical world of pod controllers. What a pod controller does is allows us to use different buttons to control a vehicle that we've made. You can also apply this to vehicles already supplied in Gary's mod like the Jeep, the airboat and whichever else you want. For this I'm just going to make a really quick vehicle and just show you how a pod controller works and what we can do with it. Now usually, when you want to make the pod go forwards, you'll just attach thrusters all around it and use the numpad inputs to make it go forwards or backwards, etc. What we'll do is we're going to use a pod controller to do this. Now, we need a chair for us to sit in first of all. So we'll just go to wooden chair. Rotate it to there. And just weld it on. Okay, the chair is going to be our pod. What we can do is, from this chair, we'll send uh, commands to the pod controller, which will tell the thrusters or whatever else we have on our car what to do. So let's go ahead and spawn ourselves a pod controller. You can find the pod controllers on the wire, wire input, output, advanced pod controller. Um, pick whatever model you want, and I'll just use this for now. Okay, the next step, which is the most important step, because without this the pod controller won't work. Um, this step you have to link the pod controller to our pod. To do this, right click the pod controller, then right click the chair. You should get a little message that says pod linked. Without doing this, this pod controller won't know where to get its um, commands from. So you could sit in this chair pressing all the different keys on your keyboard and nothing will happen. So make sure that when you make a pod controller, you link them together. Okay, now we need to make our pod move. So to do this, we'll be using wired thrusters. Now I say wired thrusters because if we use the normal thrusters, we won't be able to wire them up to our pod controller. And then once again, we just won't be going anywhere. So go to wire physics, thruster, and then set your settings to however you want. It doesn't really matter for this tutorial. So we'll set one thruster there, one thruster there, one up here, one here, and some more here. Now what these thrusters will do is they will turn the, um, our metal plate to whichever direction we want. The two back ones will make it go forwards, the two front ones will make it go backwards, and the ones on the side will make it go left and right. Now to actually make these thrusters work, we need to wire these up to our pod controller. Now if I go, if I use the wire advance tool, you can see all the different outputs that our pod controller has. So if I just get our back one, click A, click our pod controller, and it gives you the big list of outputs that our pod controller has. See at the top we have W, A, S and D, which we'll be using to control our pods. But then below it you have things like mouse 1, mouse 2, R. All of these can be used to control our pods, make it turn left and right. It's however you want to set it. So if I set forwards to W, There you go, the linked up. If I set this one, which will make our pod go right, if I set that to D, and if I set the left one to A, and then our two front ones, they're going to make us go backwards, so we'll set that to S. Oops, gone past it. Okay, so there you go. Our pod is now um, our pod controller is now wired up to our thrusters. So if we unfreeze this and we sit in it, as you can see, the pod controller has turned green. All this is doing is just saying someone's in the in the pod. That means we're going to work now. So if I press W, I go forwards. If I go 
left, I can go right, and then I can go backwards as well. That's not all you can do with pod controllers. Like I said, you saw the different outputs. There are so many things you can wire up to this pod controller to make your car or whatever you're making do what you want. For example, you can uh, attach a spawner, a prop spawner to the bottom, and it can spawn bombs that you can drop, or you can attach uh, turrets, and then you can wire them up to your pod controller to make them fire. Like I said, this is basically all about customizing your own car. Instead of just using numpad inputs, which it's just it's really old fashioned, it's it's not tidy. This is all clean. You can use your keyboard without having to move your hand all over it. And it's just a lot easier to use. Um I'm just gonna show you the basics here which I've done. It's up to you now to go out there and decide what you want to do with the pod controller. Thanks for watching this tutorial.